I'm Brian Dickinson, and this training bite is on class inheritance in System Verilog. So this is the fourth in a series of training bites showing you how to use classes in System Verilog. And in this bite, we're going to cover inheritance, where we declare classes which extend from other classes. So in in simple inheritance, a class declaration can extend another existing class. So here, I declare a class called tagFrame, which uses the keyword extends to inherit from the existing class called frame. And here, tagFrame, which is my subclass of frame, inherits all of the members of the parent class, which is my frame class. So tagFrame inherits the address, the payload, and the parity properties. Now, it can also add its own members, so it also adds the frame count and the tag properties, and it can even redeclare or override the members from the parent. This is common for methods, but less common for properties. Now when I declare an instance 1 of tag frame, when I access the properties of the instance 1, the parent properties, the members which are inherited from the parent, um, are accessed as if they were declared in the subclass itself. So 1.addr here, I access addr property directly from the one handle, and it's actually invisible to the user where this declaration comes from, whether it comes from the tag frame class, or whether it's inherited from the frame class. So what we've done here with inheritance is basically create a new conceptual class called tag frame, which contains all the declarations from the parent class frame, as well as the local declarations of frame count and tag from tag frame. Now one of the biggest problems we first face with simple inheritance is to do with constructors. So what happens is that a constructor call for the parent is automatically added as the first line in the constructor call for the subclass. So here I have a constructor for my parent frame class. Now this requires two arguments, ADD and DAT, to initialize the address and payload properties. My subclass, bad tag frame, clues in the name, uh, also has a constructor which is used to initialize the frame count and the tag methods. So by default, we insert a call to the frame constructor as the first line of the bad tag frame constructor. And this is going to cause us a problem. And the problem is, is that the frame constructor requires the ADD and DAT arguments. It requires values for these two arguments. And the default call is not passing those values up, so I get a compilation error. So how do I fix this? What I need to do is to insert an explicit call to the frame constructor, which will allow me to pass the values for ADD and DAT arguments. And I must insert this as the first line of the bad tag frame subclass constructor in order to overwrite the default new call. My problem though is how can I access the constructor of the parent from inside the subclass? I can't just make a call to new because that would reference the constructor of the subclass. What I need to do is I need to use a prefix called super and super allows me to access the parent members from a subclass. So when the compiler sees a super call, it basically jumps to the parent class and resolves any property access or member access from that scope. So my problem is, is the default super.new call, which is automatically inserted as the first line of my subclass constructor, doesn't pass those arguments for ADD and DAT. However, if I explicitly call the constructor of the frame class by calling super.new, I can pass those arguments up, and if I make it the first line of the subclass constructor, this overwrites the implicit call, and everything works fine. Now you can layer inheritance to as many generations as you can deal with. So here I have my frame class, I have tag frame, which extends frame, and I can declare a new class, error frame, which extends from tag frame. And this inherits all the members of tag frame and all the members of the frame class. 
Now, a frame class is my base class that's at the top of the hierarchy stack. That doesn't extend anything else. But tag frame is now a subclass of frame, and error frame is a subclass of tag frame. Now, I need to pass up the arguments to the constructor for my base class frame. Okay, so I need an explicit constructor in all of my subclasses, and the first line of those explicit constructors must be a super.new call to pass up the ADD and DAT arguments up to the next level where they can be passed up eventually to my frame class. So the constructors here are explicit and cascaded because I have this requirement for arguments to the constructor of my base class. So you can only pass these arguments one level at a time. You can't call super.super.new. The error frame must pass those arguments up to tag frame with a super new call, and tag frame must pass them up to frame with another super.new call, and both calls must be the first line of the subclass constructors. So this is a quick overview on inheritance. Remember, inheritance is where you define a new subclass by extending the existing parent class. In software terms, this is referred to as an is a relationship. So tag frame is a class of type frame, but is also adding its own members on top of those from the parent frame class. In traditional system Verilog terms, this can be considered to be similar to a tick include. So basically you are tick including all the declarations from the parent frame class inside of the subclass tag frame. However, the distinction here with inheritance that you can overwrite the declarations which are inherited from the parent class by redeclaring them inside of the subclass. So this byte was a quick overview of inheritance. The next training byte in this series will have a look at polymorphism and further bytes in this series will have a look at virtual classes and methods and class randomization. Thank you.